Good morning, folks. We've seen a lot of pops, surges, morphing, and movement the last 24 hours on our star, but nothing major appears to be coming in Earth's direction. Over the northeastern limb, we've got an active region about to come in. She's having a fiery time just out of view, but let's see what the Earth-facing solar quiet has in store for her over the next week. Coming over to spaceweathernews.com, we find solar flaring still struggling to get up into C-class range. The sunspot situation is a touch improved. Behind the departing group, we had major growth, but those umbras of opposite polarity are still a bit spread out. The fourth gamma ray burst in the last week came in this morning, having streamed out of the Draco constellation. Solar wind density and speed, orange and yellow, is dropping out, and Earth's magnetic shield is perfectly calm. Smooth curves returning to even the most sensitive flux meters here. Let's do a brief update on the major earthquake we reported yesterday. Over 300 people are dead, and that number is expected to go up. Damage spread across Pakistan, Afghanistan, and India, taking down buildings and triggering landslides. A reminder, if this was indeed space weather related, we'd need to see tropical disruptions nearby and south of the quake zone. We have amazing development with three low-pressure cells currently tracked for alert by the Joint Typhoon Warning Center. And speaking of quake factors, it looks like we've got coronal magnetic field center disk, and you can see that that confines the darker coronal holes up, down, and left incoming. The positive transequatorial opening is three to four days away. Until then, we'll monitor things like this low-level swarm near Greece. A five or six pointer is not out of the imagination for the coming day or two. Top stories today are on historical accounting of great solar storms, including the Charlemagne event more than 1,200 years ago, and one on this year's ozone hole. Image and article linked for you below. Website members over at suspiciousobservers.org, you've got a new Deeper Look episode, number 85. Actually posted two nights ago, but we had our hands full yesterday with other news. New chart extrapolates the magnetic field failure of Earth with a much tighter window than our last analysis in terms of a timeline for trouble. Also, folks, our book has been released, Observing the Frontier. The links are on this page and all over the websites, so you can't miss it. It is only available as a digital download right now, however, in PDF form. A hard copy is planned for a few weeks from now. We've got pressure and radar forecasts in our top viewer locations, your current global conditions, and shots of our star to close. It's 6.10 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone. Thank you.